Welcome to the video segment on document storage and migration. We have previously explored the rationale for implementing an intranet structure that provides each department with a dedicated SharePoint site containing libraries for document management, as well as an associated Microsoft team for collaborative efforts and communication. We also discussed the advantages of applying a standardized metadata schema across all intranet libraries to enhance search capabilities within the intranet. In this section, we will examine the strategies and procedures for transitioning an organization's existing documents to a new intranet structure. To begin, we must first gain a comprehensive understanding of the organization's current document storage practices. The shift to remote work in recent years, driven by the pandemic, has led to the rapid development of document management procedures, which may have lacked proper planning, consideration, and training for employees. The widespread adoption of Microsoft Teams and its automatic generation of SharePoint sites for new teams or private channels have contributed to a fragmented document storage landscape with an ever-increasing number of undocumented locations. Moreover, documents shared through chat sessions can end up stored in the Microsoft Cloud beyond the organization's Microsoft tenant, further complicating matters. This situation not only results in non-compliance with policies, but also undermines organizational efficiency when crucial documents cannot be located or the most recent version identified. In light of the growing emphasis on compliance with mandated retention periods, Americans with Disabilities Act, HIPAA, and other regulations, the significance of a robust document management system has become increasingly apparent. Furthermore, the vital role of electronic discovery, e-discovery, in legal proceedings highlights the necessity for effective, well-organized document management practices. Now let's explore the specific steps to successfully migrate an organization's existing documents into the new intranet structure. By following a methodical approach, we can ensure a seamless, efficient transition and enhance document management practices. First, standardize metadata across all libraries. Creating a consistent metadata framework for every document library within the internet is a crucial first step. This significantly improves search capabilities and document categorization, making it easier for employees to find and access relevant information. Working with a representative group of department managers, a core group of metadata columns is identified. These metadata columns often include document type, so you can separate reports from invoices, contracts, presentations, etc. Author, which allows you to find or filter results by the author's name. Department, which allows you to find or filter the results by the department that owns the document. Creation date, which helps track a document's history. Review date, which can trigger automatic notifications when a document needs to be reviewed. Retention category, which allows the assignment of a required retention period to a category of documents. And confidentiality level, which can help manage access control and safeguard sensitive information. Metadata like this, standardized across all internet libraries, dramatically enhances document findability and makes achieving compliance straightforward. After standardizing on metadata across all libraries, the second step is to conduct a thorough document audit. Streamline the document landscape by performing a detailed audit of existing documents within the current Microsoft 365 environment. This process should involve identifying duplicate files, outdated versions, and irrelevant documents that can be discarded, making the new intranet structure even easier to navigate. The third step is to develop a department-by-department -department migration plan. To ensure a smooth transition, implement the migration on a department-by-department -department basis. Identify departments with the highest priority or the least complex document structures and create a comprehensive migration plan for each department, including timelines, responsibilities, and any required training. 
The fourth step is to implement auto-generated metadata values during the migration. Streamline the migration process by introducing auto-generated metadata values for existing documents. This approach reduces manual data entry, minimizes errors, and accelerates the migration process. For example, migrating documents into the operations department easily allows the automatic application of the word operations to the metadata field department. Fifth, provide training and support. Foster user adoption and understanding by ensuring employees receive adequate training on the new internet structure, metadata standards, and document management best practices. Offer continuous support through the migration process to address any questions or concerns and continue to monitor and adjust the system as needed once the migration is complete. By following these steps, organizations can seamlessly migrate their existing documents to the new internet structure, promoting better document management and fostering a more efficient and compliant work environment.